it's raining outside and I was planning to do some stuff outside but I guess I'm not so I left the 24 volt batteries this over here disconnected from the solar charger this one for a few days and they were almost full but if you remember from the earlier videos this one is not okay the voltage is lower on here so uh, even though they are 220 amp hours there's the numbers they don't uh, hold that much current inside because this one is weaker and when they are in series yeah they try to balance each other and this one gets charged too much when this is too low and I know it's a bad thing next year figure out something else but because the charge was dropping close to 12 volts or even below that even after being like four days disconnected from the solar charger I decided to check out how other voltage is and it's not pretty this is 11 points three almost 12.5 so there's over one voltage difference between those and I have been having trouble to charge the weaker one with this intelligent charger but I'm gonna give it another try if it could save that battery and then everything would be fine but yeah I'm not counting on that so another electrical thing that I was planning to do today was to put a new USB charger well not here because the old one is here and it has worked okay for a few summers now but now the other one is loose the connection over there so it doesn't charge from that and it's not a, in a good place because the fridge is under here and we open this a lot and when there's something charging the cables get cut under this and yeah it's not the ideal place so I a few weeks ago I drilled a hole over here when I fixed the uh, other um, secret plug connection here to this I decided to put the charger USB charger over here get one of these which is used to in the um, car secret connection terminal but because I don't trust those anymore they are too flimsy and that one over there which was used by the uh, the electric kettle over here uh, the connection sometimes was so loose that it got heated up that bad it, it melted the, the plastic around that so I took it out and I'm never gonna use that I installed a I got a few of these old ones so I changed the plug to this and this is way more sturdier and stronger connection but even these get a little bit warm after using this because this consumes 13 amps uh, from 24 volts that's pretty much so yeah but there's no, I don't think there's gonna be any melting problems with this because it's all metal and yeah. So the plan is to take this and maybe even solder the wires directly to here. Something like that. Let's see what happens. So the charging started surprisingly well. So far it's doing okay it's been steady at 13.6 volts 
because before it jumped like 215 volts or something before it started to charge when the charger was testing about the voltage so I couldn't even charge it at all because it jumped so high and then it did some kind of an error message over there and stopped charging but now I think because it was so low the voltage below 12 now it got figure out the voltage right and started charging and now I'm charging it with 15 amps so because I think it's pretty empty now it's gonna take a like 10 hours or more to charge it full so I'm gonna see that tomorrow but now let's try the soldering thing so I decided to try to solder this on there just the tape to hold it in place might go really bad or might work you're gonna see okay I think the soldering worked out pretty good. I got some strong connections over here. And the metal was just right so that it adapts to the the soldering tin. Yep, so this is good. I'm gonna hook it up to here, but I'm not gonna be able to test it out because I'm charging the 24 volt batteries. Uh, so I'm gonna do it tomorrow and also I have to print an adapter to there because the hole is too big for this so I'm gonna do some kind of a ring over here to make it tight and also I'm gonna take this out the old USB plug because yeah I don't need it here once I got that working but I'm gonna take this because the other one of these is still working, the other one is still loose. I'm gonna take that out. And then I'm gonna take this. My motor controlling box out and design it again because last time we were sailing I realized that the handle is broken. So it's in a place that sometimes you can bump your head into it and also I never really like this open design even though I think it has been pretty watertight until now even though it's raining a lot as you can see in the drops but yeah I'm gonna design it all over again and make room for the USB plug over here because then I can take my tablet holder over here put it on here and I can charge the tablet and using the plotter over there from here so yeah it's gonna be cool let's connect some wires and take that out it's a pizza place under there take it out and then take that out and take all all those to home and start designing a new throttle controller box but yeah that's gonna be another video I think so I'm gonna continue tomorrow thanks again guys and girls for watching and remember to subscribe and put your thumbs up share if you like these videos and we're gonna see you in the next one bye bye